Hi guys, Dr. H here, your source of advanced musculoskeletal care, and today I want to talk about one of the questions I get the most often. What is the difference between what I do, or what is the difference about being a DO, versus X? MDs, chiropractic, PTs, etc. So let's talk about that. Alright, so one of the biggest questions I get is, what is the difference between doctors who have MD after their name and those that have DOs after their name? Now, this has been explained in great detail and a lot better than what I could probably ever explain it in other videos on YouTube. One of my personal favorites is Dr. Mike. He's a very popular doctor on YouTube, happens to be a DO, and he did a fantastic video on the differences between DOs and MDs. As a quick summary, Pretty much the difference between somebody who has DO after their name and a doctor who has MD after their name is nothing. In medical school, if you go to a DO medical school, you get um, training in osteopathic manipulative treatment, that hands-on manipulation treatment. If you go to an MD medical school, you don't get that, but after you graduate medical school, the training is the same. We go to the same residencies, we take the same tests, we do the same specialties and fellowships, and DOs that go out and never use OMT again, essentially are practicing the same way an MD would practice. So there's really no difference there, and again, if you want more detail on that or a better explanation of that, I will link Dr. Mike's video on MD versus DO in the description of this video. So after I watched that video that Dr. Mike put out, difference between MD and DO, and he even demonstrates some OMT in that video, one of the most common comments I saw on that video is, so DOs are MDs who have chiropractic skills. A lot of people were said that and so I figured this video can be more of what's the difference between a DO that does a lot of manipulation like myself and chiropractic. So the first thing is in the United States there are only two medical professions that have full unrestricted license to practice medicine. Those are people with DOs after their name or people with MDs after their name. Everybody else has some kind of narrowing of their scope or restriction in the way that they're able to practice healthcare. But MDs and DOs can prescribe, do surgeries, and can practice the full scope of medicine. That said, of course, we have specialties. So when I was in med school, I got training in every area of medicine. As a student, you do rotations through every area of medicine. Even as a resident, during my first year in particular, I did rotations and practice medicine in sort of uh, every area of medicine from emergency medicine, surgery, OBGYN, etc. However, I ended up specializing and subspecializing in the musculoskeletal system. So what that means is I've had exposure and training in pretty much the entire scope of medicine. However, I chose to specialize in this one particular area. But the point is medical doctors in the United States have full unrestricted practice of medicine because their training involves the entire scope of medicine. So if you see a medical doctor like myself, even for a musculoskeletal problem, let's just say shoulder pain, when I evaluate your shoulder, when I look at your shoulder, I'm doing that through the lens of the entire scope of, of medicine. And I have at my disposal all the tools of medicine. I can do surgery, which I would never do, of course, but I can do prescriptions, I can do injections, and I can do hands-on manipulation. When you come to see me for evaluation of the musculoskeletal system, I might do techniques that look very similar to what you would have done to you if you went to see a chiropractor. I did a video not too long ago on a technique I use called high velocity, low amplitude. I'll, I'll link that up here. And that can look very similar to chiropractic manipulation. You can get to see those same pops and cracks. But I'm doing it through the lens of, of my medical training, not through the lens of chiropractic medicine. So we do similar things, but for different reasons would be another way of putting it. And then I do a lot of things that chiropractors don't do both with manipulation and other avenues of medical treatment like injection therapies, medication therapies, that kind of thing. The big point I'm trying to make here is if you do have a, a musculoskeletal problem, there's absolutely nothing wrong with seeing a chiropractor for that. However, at least in my opinion, you should definitely be seen and be evaluated by a, a medical doctor. That doesn't have to be somebody who specializes in the musculoskeletal system like myself. That may not be available to you wherever you're located. It might just be your primary care, your family physician, taking a look at, say, your shoulder pain or your back pain, and then recommending somebody like a physical therapist or a chiropractor or a massage therapist or somebody to help you there. It's convenient if you have a musculoskeletal specialist in your area that can evaluate and manage you all in one shot, but it's not always the case. However, I do feel like everybody who has some kind of musculoskeletal complaint 
should get evaluated by a medical doctor because, like we've discussed before, that medical doctor will look at you through the entire scope of medicine. It may be purely a musculoskeletal problem, but it could be something else that needs to be evaluated and managed. Shoulder pain may not be a problem with your shoulder. There are things that can happen with your organs, for example, your heart, that can cause recurrent shoulder pain. This needs to be in consideration when you're being evaluated and, and eventually treated. And it's not an either or a thing. As, you know, again, I, I recommend at first you see a, a medical doctor for evaluation and management, but then you might see a chiropractor or have a chiropractor as part of your team. Even myself, who does, who, you know, I do musculoskeletal focused medicine, I have had patients see me for evaluation of things and then see their chiropractor for treatment. It's not an uncommon situation where patients are seeing chiropractors for, say, back pain, and they want a physician to evaluate this back pain as well just to make sure it's nothing else they come to see me i say yes it's this and they say well it's getting relief by seeing my chiropractor i'm just going to continue doing that and i say that's perfectly fine on the other side of that i've had many chiropractors refer patients to me when they know that these patients need an escalation of their their medical care maybe they see patients and they say yeah you probably need some kind of injection treatment or you might need surgery or you might need medical management, or you just might need a different approach to hands-on management. Either way, it's not like chiropractors and DOs are in constant competition. Um, we each know what our scope of practice is, and we work in practice based off that. All right, guys, so that's all I wanted to discuss today. Um, again, the MDDO, what's the difference, conversation has been done in much better videos and much more detail. Again, I'll link Dr. Mike's down below. But one of the most common questions I do get asked once you get past the MD versus DO question is, okay, so then what's the difference between you and say a chiropractor? And that's why I, that's what I really wanted to address in this video as well. In terms of other body workers, eh, the difference is a little bit more obvious. Maybe the next video I'll do will be the difference between what I do and what physical therapists do, but it, a lot of it's the same conversation. Again, being a DO, being a medical doctor, you have a full scope of medicine, physical therapists, while doctors of physical therapy are not medical doctors and therefore don't have that same scope. But we're all part of your healthcare team. We're all working together to help get you better. That is, amongst all the professions, the common goal is to make sure the patient gets the relief and treatment that they need. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions about that or any specific concerns, feel free to put them in the comments below. Until then, keep moving.